Welcome to my store. Okay, what we're going to do today is fiberglass this uh, wooden box here. If you watch my first video, you'll see a wooden tank that uh, is fiberglassed on the inside. We had a bit of a flood that introduced you to the highly professional videos that we've come known for. Okay, not shaky at all. Got a new camera person today. Say hi to the camera. Hello. Okay. She's got her finger through the loop on the camera because the last shot she did, she dropped the camera. Okay. So we got a finger through there. That's why it was a little awkward. Anyhow, we're going to uh, take the dust out of this. And what that's the uh, boxes for it? What the purpose of? I'm going to put water in it. Water in it. Uh, for what purpose? Oh, these plants. See, I want to put the uh, fish in there. And I got all those plants in there so they don't have to come out and water them every day. I'm going to put them in here. Okay, and then it is for water plants. It can be for any kind of plants. It can be for fish. It doesn't matter. Fiberglass is inert. Once it's done and dried. Okay, then uh, let's say instead of a plastic, uh, a plastic one, this one is made of wood with, uh, what do you put in it? How do you call it back again? Fiberglass. Fiberglass. And then next we're going to redo another box there. Oh, you see that wood in there? Yeah, we're going to make that box probably tomorrow, but this one's already made. You got a little carried away, two by sixes, plywood, etc. I put a bunch of screws all the way along the bottom. I painted up the outside. Home Depot, they have a mist tint pile, cheap paint. Okay, okay. does it have uh, to have any special paint, any special kind of wood, or can it be anything can be on any hand? Any kind of wood um, for paint. I use latex because uh, it's non-toxic once it's dried and, uh, well, I like the color. I'll probably paint it three or four different other colors in them over the years, whatever. Okay, but then it uh, have to be uh, anything, any kind of wood or whatever, as long as it's new or, and, and it clean can or can be old too? It can be old. Uh, all you do if it's old, you scratch her up a bit with a wire brush. Okay. Because you don't want to be sticking the fiberglass to the dirt, because then if the dirt falls off, the fiberglass falls off. Okay, okay. and then can be like a, a, a pond for anyone, and can be made any size. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, you can't make it any size, because if you make it too big, you'd never be able to move it. Oh, well, it's all depends on the space of the people and where yeah. do you want to have it. Well, you never want to build this inside. Fiberglass will gas you. It is so... Oh. A poison? I don't know if it's poison, but it sure tastes like and smells like it. Okay. Well, I don't taste it, but you taste it in the back of your throat for the next week if you do it inside. Okay, then it's a project that people got to think of uh, having it in summertime or this kind of weather. Well, you don't want to do it when it's too hot. You don't want to do it when it's too cold. Because if it's too hot, it dries too fast and it gets brittle. Okay, so we're doing this outside. Today's not too hot, not too cold. Kind of shady. Okay. So, we're going to mix up some fiberglass. We use this stuff. Okay, this is at the uh, local Canadian Tire Automotive Supply Store. Okay, this is what you use if you got rusty panels on your vehicle, stuff like that. So, they give you a bottle of resin and a bottle of hardener. Okay. Okay, we got a phone call. Hello? Yeah, speaking. Good. So you good for 2 o'clock on uh, Monday? Okay, see you then. Yeah, just meet me in the lobby. Alrighty. Bye-bye. Okay, on Monday, holiday Monday, this guy's good. He's going to go in and let me in. This is a pond on a roof. I'll do a video on this too because the pond is this deep. It covers the whole roof uh, around the outside. It's an architectural firm. You go into the building, up the elevator, you walk out onto the roof, and then you got this pond, you walk around, and there's their other entrance. Okay? So. Okay, then this kind of pond that what you're making now, uh, since uh, as for uh, uh, kind, of, kind of water plants and everything, people that can make, if they have a fence or whatever, they can make uh, uh, such as a kind of wood thing around any size and uh, can look nice to uh, put uh, doing the same work as with this one. A and, fence? Well, if they have a fence or whatever, they can put like a, you know, they can be, it can be built up. With and, fiberglass? And, anywhere. No, they make the frame and after they put the fiberglass. But what's the fence got to do? 
Oh, well, if you want to have it in a little corner, you want to have it in any, anywhere, any place. Uh, do you need a fence? Oh, uh, no, that's why I mean. No, you yeah. don't need well, a fence. Well, I will do, if I have a fence, I will beside, put it at a... Uh, if you had a... We do have a fence. We don't have no wooden boxes beside it. No, because uh, we haven't decided if we're going to do that or not. But that's oh, no, no. a good I idea. I want to put a pond along that one fence, but it won't be made out of wood. Oh, okay. I'm going to use a liner. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, wooden boxes and stuff are more for moving. Okay. Or I'll... like back here, this is the back of my store, and uh, we want to put fish in there because it's deeper, and I want to put the plants in here. And my buddy already made this, and he gave it to me for nothing, so, okay, we'll use it. How long, uh, for how long do we, uh, they will last? The, the, the same thing as the plastic one pumps? Or uh, it basically lasts until you take an axe and beat the daylights out of it. Oh, okay, then it's something very permanent that you can... Yeah, I'll be hauling this around for a while. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyhow, we got to get our stick. Okay. Get Don't go nice... too fast. Because otherwise it's going to be moving. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Are you saying we have a shaky camera woman this time? Well, the camera, if I move it too fast, it gets shaky the picture. You, no. don't, you don't have to be like a pot. Haven't you seen any of our other videos? Even when we're holding still, the camera's shaky. Uh. This ain't very sharp. Okay, so you get a stick you don't care about. Take this off, make sure it's ready. One thing about fiberglass, once you mix it, you got about 15 minutes, okay? After 15 minutes, you end up with a big lump of fiberglass, okay? So you cut the top off of the hardener. Try not to cut your eye off or your arm off. Well, try not to cut anything off. Okay, I'm not gonna put that away. I'm <laughs> gonna clean that before I put that one away. Okay. So, I'm optimistic. We're going to go for half. So you carefully measure that. Yeah, that's half. So then you hold this upside down. And you see where the half is. And then you put a half. Okay. Put the lid back on. Now, if you see this, it looks kind of brownish. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. That, that, that you lose the, the state brown? or It changes it color a wee bit, not a lot. It's kind of smelly. Kind of smelly? <laughs> okay, this really reeks. Like it went past kind of smelly a while ago. I told more brown than clear. Yeah, but we're going to put a thin layer on. Okay. So it looks kind of, gives a nice golden hue. How, how many layers do you have to put on it in order just to make one. sure? Just one? Oh yeah. 